In this video, we'll cover the cameras and map tab. This is where you can map and edit cameras, and you can also add cameras. So let's dive into that. You'll see it on the left here. You hit this drop down button, click on camera slash map. So here is our cameras and maps tab. So here on the left side of the page, you will see the map. This is a Google map that you can change between a map view or a satellite. You can also make this a full screen. You can do a street view and zoom in and out with these buttons here. On the right, you will see a list of all your cameras. Underneath the name of the camera, you can see the last activity. So you'll see on April 4th at 3.04, this camera was active, probably when it took a picture. To the right of that, you'll see the battery level. And you'll also see the cell signal strength. So as you can see, I have nine cameras. Seven of them are grouped right here, and two of them are grouped up here. If you click on the seven, it'll narrow down to those seven. And then if you click on either one of these twos, it'll narrow it down to those two. So if you hover over one of these icons, you'll see that the name of the camera, so it's called Blind. And if you look on the right, there's a list of all our cameras. So you can find Blind, and that's the camera we're looking at here. If you wanted to edit that camera, you'll click on Blind. And from here, you can make changes to it. So if you wanted to rename it, you could do that here. If you wanted to move the camera and you knew the GPS location, you could type in the coordinates there. But the easiest way is to just go ahead and click on this pin, and you can drag it and drop it to wherever you move that camera to. Now keep in mind, you don't have to do this for the smart cam because it has a built-in GPS. Unless you turn that GPS off, it will automatically update its location when it checks in. However, if you do have a mini camera, you will have to move the location of it manually. And so the easiest way is just to click and drop. If you're moving it a long way, you could use this search bar at the top. So if we're going to say, for instance, move it to Denim Springs, you could type in Denim Springs. There it is there. We'll move it to downtown. And then from there, you can drag and drop. If you knew the exact address, you could type that in there. And then you could be pretty close from there. Lastly, there's a delete button here, so if you want to delete this camera, you just click right there and it will remove it. Keep in mind, you'll lose all your data and all your pictures if you do delete the camera. So we'll back out of here. So at the bottom right here, you'll see the marker button. So if you wanted to mark spots such as a deer stand, um, a deer feeder, a trail, you'll click that button and you can add a marker to the map. So let me show you how to do that. So we'll go ahead and zoom in on one of our cameras. And you'll notice we're back at the blind here, but there's no blind. So if you see this little mark here, that's actually the blind. So what we could do is we could hit this plus marker button and it drops us a pin. It automatically defaults to a stand, so we'll keep that. And you'll just drag and drop this pin to the blind. And then we can name it blind. And then you'll hit submit. So now you'll see that there's an eight icon. Click there. There's three. And there's our blind. There's the blind camera. And there's our other camera that's on the spot. Now there's also a feeder on this field. So we'll go ahead and add that pin. Hit the plus. We'll just name that tripod feeder. And we'll change this to a feeder. Now you can see you can add a camp or a trail as well. So for this one, we'll click on feeder. We'll move it to about the middle of the field where it is. And hit submit. So now you'll see there's our blind here on the right. And there's our tripod feeder. And then you'll notice this says 9. So you can click on that to zoom in on it. There's our blind. There's our two cameras. And there's our feeder. So this can help you keep tabs of where all your stands are, your feeders, and we'll be adding more icons to this list as well. Lastly, I want to show you how to add a camera. So if you buy a new smart cam, or you have any other camera you want to add to hunt control, you'll do that from this tab. So at the bottom right, you'll see an add camera button. You'll click on that. If you're adding a smart cam, you'll just type in the camera's IMEI number here and give it a name and you'll add the smart cam. If you're adding another brand camera, you'll just click right here on all other cameras. For this demonstration, we'll go ahead and just add another smart cam and we'll make it a mini. Now remember, when adding a smart cam to your hunt control account, 
you will have to update your subscription and you'll do that under the profile tab. We do have a whole video explaining on how to do this in our YouTube channel and also on our website so check that out. So I'll go ahead and type in the IMEI number and we're going to name this camera Mini and we'll hit add smart cam. So you'll see right here is our mini camera. So you click on that. So since this is a mini, it just defaults usually in either Louisiana or Arkansas for some reason. Um, so what you'll do is you'll just type in where you want this to go. So if you're hunting somewhere close to Nashville, you could type in Nashville, Tennessee. Zoom out, drag, drop the pin wherever you're hunting, and you'll hit submit. And so now you'll see the camera that we've added is up there in Nashville. Again, you have to do this for the mini cameras because they don't have a built-in GPS. So by default, they're either somewhere in Louisiana or Arkansas, and you'll just have to manually drag and drop the pin to where you're hunting. It's important to move this pin because this is where your weather data comes from. So Hunt Control pulls the weather data from that pin's location, and that way you can get accurate weather charts and data so you can pattern and predict your deer movements and utilize all the benefits of hunt control.